When it comes to matters of your home today, real estate expert TJ Larson with My Town Home Realty is our go-to guy. And once a month, he takes the time to answer your questions. TJ, thanks for coming today. Absolutely. Glad to be here. Good to see you as always. Okay, our first question is from AJ, who's building a new house, mm -hmm. and it's almost done. Here you go. And our question is our first house. You know, what do you really have to look towards in the final inspection um, before you actually sign the closing papers to make sure everything's good to go? Uh, AJ, first, I would recommend hiring an independent inspector to take a look at your house. They're trained. They've got a trained eye. They can make this thing, uh, look it over from uh, top to bottom to make sure that you're well covered prior to writing that check at the closing table. Now, if you decide to do that on your own, no problem, but I would recommend that you go in and you run certain systems. Run every one of the appliances. Turn the dishwasher on. Take that through a full cycle. Take a look underneath it. Make sure that it didn't leak any water as it was going through the cycle. Turn on the burners. Turn on the stove. Uh, mechanicals like HVAC, you want to turn on your air conditioning. Turn on your heat. Be careful on the air conditioning. If it's too cold outside, it can damage the unit to run the air conditioning. Um, if it's got a crawl space, get underneath the house. Take a look for standing water. Look for settlement cracks. Give it a good uh, once over top to bottom and you should be all right. Good advice, TJ. Okay, thank you so much. Our next question comes from Kim. Kim says uh, she needs a little help selling her home. We'd like to know our house has been on the market forever, and we was wondering any tips and all that we might have that might make it show a little bit better. We're getting hits on the internet, but not really any showings. Any tips? Any help? Forever is a long time. <laughs> I don't know what you do about that. <laughs> so you have no advice for her, right? I do, I do. Um, a lot of hits on the internet, but no showings. Suggest to me that your price is too high on the house. Uh, it's not a matter of coming in and dolling up the house on the interior. If you're having a lot of showings but no offers, I would say that perhaps you need to take a look at the interior, repaint, change out the flooring, uh, do some landscaping work. But if you're not getting visitors to the home, what you'll find is people who are looking on the Internet first are pricing the home out. And they're saying if this is within range, if it's at fair market value or below fair market value, this is a house I'm going to make an appointment on and I'm going to go see. You have to price it to sell it in this That's market, right. don't you think? You, you really do. You have to do that. Yes, yeah, sellers, we can get greedy. <laughs> because we want all of our money out of it. but And as we've talked about before, if you price too high, mm -hmm. chances are you're going to stay on the market forever, uh, and you're ultimately going to sell lower than if you would have priced it right out of the gate. That's right. Okay, TJ, uh, next, Eddie has a question for you. Here's Eddie. My question is, as an investor, are you better off buying homes in the market right now to resale or to uh, rent out and uh, maybe get the equity long term? Well, of course, it depends on what your investment strategy is. Um, I think we can all agree that we're bouncing around the bottom of the real estate market right now. So the home that you buy today, you should be buying at an ultra-low rate. That would suggest that you might not want to sell at the bottom of the market. So buying the home, putting a renter in that home, and then having that home cash flow and sell it when the market recovers might be your best option. But the advice that I give my investor clients is prepare your home both for rent and for sale. Uh, you might want to take the equity that you can get from that home if you flip it and reinvest it into another property. So there may be a cause for flipping in that case. But if you go and you run your numbers ahead of time and you say this will cash flow as a rental or if I get the right price, I can sell the house or I can flip it, then you've got the best of bo both worlds. You let the market decide what your best investment strategy is. Okay, TJ, we have another question about building a new home. This one comes from Jason. Yeah, yeah. Right. We're getting ready to build a home, and my question is, how closely do I need to watch the process once my builder has gotten the house plan all together? Well, you know, if you're building a home and you trust your builder, I will tell you at the very beginning, you need to get out of their way and let them do their work. You know, I've represented so many clients where they visit the site on a daily basis, and the general contractor is saying, you know, geez, I can't get any work done because they're always here. But I would say you do want to make sure that they're doing the right job for you. Visit the site at milestones in construction. When they put the foundation in, make a visit at that point. When they frame out the home, visit at that point. Sheetrock, mechanical systems, plumbing, electrical. Take a look at the milestones, and then when you get towards the end, when you're are looking at the finish work where there's a lot of detail work going on, I would suggest visiting the site more often, maybe even on a daily basis. But overall, at least in the beginning, don't stalk your builders, what you're don't saying. Don't stalk the builder. Okay, remember that. TJ Larson, that's what he said. Uh, My Town Home Realty, you can check out TJ's website, mytownhome.com. Isn't he good? He's got great advice for us. TJ, they can't answer. It's the TV. <laughs> <laughs> They're answering at home oh, in their right, heads. Right. They talk back to me occasionally. I <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> DJ Larson, thank you so much. We appreciate it.